Well, welcome back to Dobbo's Fishing Adventures. And I did say I would look at the LVS-12 Garmin Panoptics Live Scope. So, basically I bought a second-hand transducer. That's all I needed to get this up and running. So, as you can see, I have followed everything by the book. I didn't have the paperwork for it, but you can go online, <clears throat> go into uh, Garmin and download the manuals anyway for it. So this is it. It's a very extremely weird looking transducer. Very weird, but I have to say, first impressions on the screen, it's looking all good. So follow the instructions <clears throat> and you'll see there a little little mark there with TL. So that's basically that's your whole line. So everything I've done, I can't really do it with the phone, it's a bit more difficult, but bear with. So what happens is your TL line runs from there in line with the bottom of your hull. That is critical. And obviously, uh, like any uh, transfer mount transducer, you do have the option of just pushing it up and pushing it down to change the angle if it just needs to go slightly. Like I said, this is some weird shape trans uh, transfer mount transducer. There's a standard Ray Marine transducer. And over this side, <clears throat> I've got the other Garmin transducer. And you'll have to excuse the way I've had to let my transducers in because I do have this weird fin shape transom, which is good because it acts, <clears throat> it does act as sort of like tab. So gives you that little bit more lift. So that's that's my transom. Standard transoms are just dead flat. So you haven't got to do anything what I've done. Cut them in to get it to get it plumb. Level off the transom. Because otherwise how the hell am I supposed to mount any type of trans transducer on here? Well, it's, it's just not gonna happen. <clears throat> so anyway, getting back to the LVS 12. Standard procedure, it's clipped up nicely run up to your unit and this in this case it's the 8410 xsv so i've already got the dedicated plug on the back of the screen to take this one and it takes the lvs 32 as well now the difference between the L lvs 12 and the 32 with the 32 you do get better degrees forward and aft, aft being straight down and stern. So, <clears throat> once you've got all that in, as I say, follow the instructions to the book. They're there for a reason. Don't cheat it. You can't cheat it, really. It is what it is. And as normal, it does, suggested side is starboard side. Majority of transducers will go on that side purely because of your prop turn being a left or right handed prop so just check whatever yours are because then you don't get the prop wash now unfortunately I did have to put my Garmin on the port side here but I get no problems at all so that was, that was lucky now as you can see it's all quite <clears throat> all quite very tight there I've checked the outboard turning left to right, port to starboard. It all clears. It looks tight. Trust me, it does not touch it. And it's further away than what you think when I do turn it all. So once I've uh, done all that, then, which if you have a look on my other videos, I have a dedicate, dedicated moulding up the top here for my Garmin 8410 XSV.
and in here you'll see just there I'm gonna let it focus better where can we get it there you go LVS XDCR sorry I'm focusing on the cables there it's not quite you see it is that better there we go And then I've got the 12 pin XDS, XDCR. Now that is for my standard transducer. Can I get in there close? I can't really get in there closer without it. There we go. So that's the LVS XDCR. So that will take either the 12 or the 32. Standard pin one is there where it says 12 pin. If it's gonna focus properly. Sorry about this. And then you've got another 8 pin alongside it. XDCR. Obviously that must be for another transducer. But obviously I've got the um, <clears throat> 8410 XSV. I don't know if the... Because obviously this is the main... This is the main screen so this will take all the plugs as you can see I'm not sure if the slave ones have all this you'll have to check that before purchasing so I've got all the NMEA that's all in there so I've got a card reader that goes into this You've got the power that goes up there. I've also got my um, MSUD750 Fusion Stereo. So that's all linked into the screen and everything. But anyway, so that basically is the installation of the LVS-12. Panoptics transducer live scope. I'll right, just get back off the engine here. Now I'm just going to flip you guys around and go that way. So, as I say, all my garment stuff is in a dedicated molding, it's not linked to, into, into any of my axioms. That is it. That's all my garment stuff there, other than the fusion stereo, which is up the front of the boat, which is all linked into this. Right, well I think what we'll do now is go and turn her on and see what we get up on the screen. Happy days. Right, let's power on. Go straight away. A few seconds. And I've just literally just done the latest software update on the uh, 8410. Right, let's press it for grey. Right. So and that's the other thing that goes into the enemy A as well. I've got a heading sensor, which is that there. Which does need calibrating and since software updates so I will need to redo that at some date, sometime. Uh later. Right, so as you can see I'm just on the standard traditional sounder press home and that's all your options there now so I've got traditional clear view side view split zoom split frequency and <clears throat> as soon as I plug that in the LVS 12 up came the two latest options so we've got live scope down live scope forward and once you press these you've got Plenty of options for gain, clutter, blah, blah, blah. And I haven't really used it out there. I've turned it on a few times. 
I've tried it at speed. I, with the how I've set that up on the transom, it's perfect. I don't get any of the, you know, the usual sort of like gaps in it. It's not sort of like breaking up. So I've mounted it on the transom perfectly. Right, so if I press now, live scope down. So that's what I'm getting, obviously, remember, I'm out of the water, so you're not going to see anything, but I'll just quickly show what this is going to be like. But I will do a more detailed review of the down and the forward scope once I've sort of like had a good play around with it and got it all straightforward in my head how it all goes. So if I now press home again, and then I can do live scope forward. So that's what it will look like on the screen. And basically that is it. I can't really show you anything else um, until I, there you go, LVS12. And obviously if you had the 32 in it was showing, but <clears throat> this is the cheapest live scope panoptics you can get. The LVS uh, 32 is around sort of like 15, 1600 pounds. The retail price of this one's about 599. So this one won't break the bank, so to speak. Um, and then you're talking inboard through the hull panoptics where you're talking mega, mega money. But once again, you can do a lot more with them. <clears throat> the 32 and the uh, through hull ones more than what they can LVS 12 so basically LVS 12 is the basic panoptics live scope you can get but it will be great as soon as I sort of like get a bit of time out there I will have a play with it I've turned it on a few times had a fiddle sort of thing and everything at the moment is looking good on it but once again like I say there's no point in me showing you it when I don't know it myself so I will have a play around with it and uh give you guys a more detailed one when it's actually properly set up but from what I'm seeing sort of thing every situation is different so you will have to tune it into you know varying depths and stuff like that uh, to get the most out of your live scope so that is it <clears throat> as I say stay tuned and soon or sooner rather than later I will do an actual review on uh, it actually working so i hope you like what you've seen so if you can like and subscribe for any more any more questions please just uh send drop us a message and i'll get back to you asap thanks for watching